Okay, this is and decision making. So in this chapter, we focus on decision making and we look at the process itself and study objective number one. Well, decision making means that we have choices. If we have no choices, there's no decision that has to be made. We have to do what we have to do. But the fact that we are making a decision means that we have a choice. So, first of all, we must identify why we're making the decision. What is the problem? And then we look at the different courses of action that we can take in order to solve that problem. We make a decision and then we review the decision. So, incremental analysis, we talk in terms of involves the choice between alternative courses of action. In making such decisions, management ordinarily considers both financial and non-financial. But in this case, incremental analysis, we are only looking at financial data that changes under the different courses of action. It's got to be, we look at the difference between the two alternatives. Incremental analysis includes the probable effects of the decision on future earnings. All right, we collect the data on that. Now, the data is going to be in fixed costs and variable costs. The data is also going to be in costs and revenues. Now, when it comes to costs, there's fixed and variable, but just don't assume that it's the variable costs that change and not the fixed. That's not the case. You have to look at each alternative, look at the revenue, and look at the costs. For example, the basic approach here, we have two alternatives. One alternative, the revenue is going to be 125 and the costs are going to be 100. The other alternative, the revenue is going to be 110 and the costs are going to be 80. So one shows us a net income of 25, the other a net income of 30. Well, what we do is we focus on the difference between these two alternatives. So the difference in revenue, and we're going to compare B to A. The difference in revenue is that A has 15,000 more than B. So for comparing B to A, that is a negative 15,000. So we bracket it. When it comes to cost, though, you can see that's because it's revenue, we bracket it because B is getting less than A. When it comes to cost, A's costs are 100,000 and B's is 20. So there's a benefit uh, to be of 20,000. So basically, we forego revenue of 15,000, but we also save 20,000. The net effect, the incremental effect, is that alternative B is better than alternative A by $5,000. Types of incremental analysis? Well, we're going to look at it, and I have a separate video for each one. But these are types of problems that management always faces. One is accept an order at a special price. Another one is make or buy decisions. Now this could also be called outsourcing. Quite often companies think, okay, I'm going to outsource something that I do and I can, uh, you know, uh, let people go and buy the product outside. Now, we're not going to deal with sell or process further. That's for more cost accounting. But we are going to look at whether I should replane, retain or replace equipment and how to eliminate or should we eliminate an unprofitable business segment. We're not going to look at limited resources. So there are four types of decisions. One, two, three, and four.